Hey guys, welcome to 14 days of ASMR. I'm so excited to be doing this. I hope you will enjoy today's video. Before we get started, just want to remind you about a couple of things. My Patreon, where for $3 a month you can get four extra ASMR videos each and every month. My OnlyFans and the link to that can be found in the description box if you click on my link tree. That's where links to all of the various sites that I'm mentioning can be found. My Wizio, where you can order your own custom ASMR video. Also, my Instagram and TikTok are both in my link tree link down below. But now let's get into today's video. Hi. Oh, no, no, you're fine. No, you're not blocking the board. Um, well, <laughs> actually, what is that flyer up there say? Yeah, I actually can't see. I think I need glasses if we need to go to the eye doctor's. Sorry, you looked like you were studying. Plus, I know we're in the library, so shh, I should be quiet. <laughs> so, sorry, I'll let you get back to what you're doing. Um, actually, sorry, not to bother you again. Are you, like, studying for something important? Um... Yeah, could you just, like, Google for me something? Because my computer that I'm using is being, like, super slow. Ugh, school Wi-Fi. So annoying. Um, could you Google for me, um, what day of the week St. Patrick's Day falls on. Oh. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Would you mind taking a picture of me? Yeah, I, um, just wanted to take, like, a cute, like, studious in the library picture, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Um, and then just, like, no, don't, um, yeah, do portrait. Is the lighting okay? Just take a few and flip the flash, please. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, I'll let you go back to studying. <sighs> Sorry, not to interrupt you again. You're new, by the way, right? I don't think we've, like, really gotten a chance to talk. Um, you're in one of my classes, though. Yeah, yeah, I think it's history. Um, how are you liking it here? Um, 
That's what most people say. Everyone's really nice though, like, I mean, obviously it's high school, there are cliques and different groups, but overall I feel like we're like pretty nice, like a pretty nice group, I would say overall. Speaking of which, um, I, this is gonna seem kind of weird, um, but like, I have noticed you and um, I've been wanting to talk to you because you seem really cool um, and I don't know if like you already have plans but um, well this this is for you it's not like it's not like a valentine really um, it's just well I'm having a party so this is an invite to my party that I'm having um, on the 11th so if you would like to come you're more than welcome to it's gonna be at my house at 8 p.m. Um, and just for like all my friends that I invited like my close friends I put together like a little goodie box <laughs> so I don't know if you like um, like gummy bears but it's just like some gummy bears and, um, also, like, a pair of little cute socks, <laughs> but, you know, just kind of for fun and that, um, I put a necklace in for everyone to wear to the party, so, um, yeah, no pressure, you don't have to, like, wear any of this stuff, but, um, <laughs> I just had extra, so I figured I would put in a box for you. Um, sorry, I feel like I'm being weird right now. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, yeah, so this is yours. Don't go around telling everyone because, you know, it says it right on the invitation. not everyone's invited and even people that are invited not everyone gets a little goodie box <laughs> um but i don't know i just i feel like i've seen you around and you seem like kind of quiet i don't know if like you've really made friends since you came here so you know transferring is hard especially middle of the year so I just wanted to do something nice for you. I hope you don't think this is weird. So here, this is for you. You don't have like allergies or anything, right? Okay. Yeah, I was gonna read the ingredients in the gummy bears if you did. Um, but I think it should be a lot of fun. My parents are out of town. I don't, I don't know if I already said that. Um, they're gonna be out of town, so party's probably gonna go all night, um, and it's gonna be so fun, um, it's Valentine's Day themed, so if you wanna wear pink or red, I wanted to originally make it like a, a red light, green light party, um, but, I don't know, my friends, like, weren't as into it, yeah, so it'd be like, if you're single, you wear green, if you're in a relationship, you wear red, and if it's complicated, you wear yellow. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to one, but like, I know like they have parties like that in college, so I just thought it would be like fun. I'd be wearing green, by the way. What would you be wearing? Nice green. Green's a nice color. Basically, all my friends would be wearing yellow. They're all in, like, very complicated situations full of drama. I feel like some of them just love the drama, so whatever makes them happy. Um, okay, sorry. I've been tapping on your box and holding it and fidgeting with it, so here you go. Um, yeah, and I 
have like four more invitations to hand out before the end of the day. I think for the most part, I'm trying to be like very discreet because I don't want to like upset anyone that's not invited. So I've been telling people like, don't talk about it, don't come to school on Monday, like blabbing about it also. I had to not invite someone, well, I guess it doesn't matter because you don't really even know who's who or all the drama that led up to why this person isn't being invited, but my ex-boyfriend Kyle is like, he just can't come. He has like a lot of friends from a different school that just like misbehave, cause trouble, and like I need this party to be like I mean, it's going to be big, it's going to be a ton of fun, but, you know, they would end up breaking stuff and just causing a scene. Plus, Kyle's, like, still really upset that I broke up with him, but, you know, that's, that's kind of his problem. So, I didn't invite him, and I don't want him to find out about the party, because if he does, I wouldn't put it past him to call the cops, and that would just be so bad. So, shh, make sure you are talking to anyone. You don't bring up the party. Can I trust you? You have a trustworthy looking face. Do I have a trustworthy looking face? <laughs> well, I hope I do. I won't make you answer that. Um... But yeah, I, I've been wanting to talk to you, kind of, I've been trying to get your attention, um, just because, like I said, you seem cool, and I wanted to kind of assess whether, you know, maybe we would be friends, be able to be friends, so, so far so good, um, I'll let you get back to studying or whatever you were doing because I know I kind of like kept distracting you with all my random questions and you probably caught me staring at you. I just, um, <laughs> I just didn't really know like what to say a hundred percent. I mean, That's what people say. I don't consider myself like the most popular girl at the school. Um, I think I'm just friendly to everyone. So people think that like everyone knows me because like I go out of my way to try to be nice to everyone and you know get to know people. Um, and, like, people in high school are just, like, so clicky, keep to themselves, like, judge from a distance, so, I mean, when that's your competition, it's, it's not hard to be liked by more people if you just take the time to, like, say hi, ask how your weekend was. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing anything crazy. But I hope, I hope you come. I really want you to come, so please come. I think we'd have a lot of fun. I would really like to hang out with you. And yeah, who knows? Um, it'll be a fun night. I feel like there's, well, I just feel like it's going to be a good night. <laughs> And that's all I'm going to say about that. But I want you there. My friends will want you there to get to know you. Um, and yeah, at lunch today, you can totally come sit with us if, you know, you don't have anyone to sit with. Again, I, I haven't been like stalking you, so I don't know like what you're social situation is or who you've become friends with. I just noticed you're kind of quiet in class and 
I don't think I've really seen you at lunch. What period are you? Oh. Oh, so we have a different lunch period. I don't know why I assumed we had the same lunch period. Um, but have you, like, been becoming friends with, like, anyone? Oh. She's nice. Yeah, she's nice. Yeah. No, she's, she's very nice. Um, I wouldn't say friends, but, like, friendly. Yeah, we're friendly. Um, we were kind of friends freshman year, and then we just kind of drifted apart. Um, but you can, I mean, I have four invitations left, and I'm, you can invite her if you want. No, I'm, I'm totally fine, yeah, if you want to invite her. Do you, do you like, do you like, like her? Like her? Oh. Okay, like just friends. Okay, yeah. I, I just wasn't sure. I just wanted to ask. Oh, does she? I, I, yeah, I think I had heard they were dating. I didn't know they still were, but good for them. It's been like two years, I think. Okay, so if she's like just a friend, then yeah, totally invite her. Here you go. Um, yeah, um, one of the invitations or two of these I was gonna give are like a couple, so I'll just tell them they're a package deal and they get one invitation for the both of them. It comes with a plus one, so it's fine. Yeah, I won't be, I'll be good. Um, okay. I keep blabbing. I'm surprised a librarian hasn't come over here and shushed me already. <laughs> Hopefully no one has overheard any of the party details. But, um, do you have your phone? Because I don't have, like, my address on the card. Most people I was inviting, like, they have my phone number. So I'm just going to be texting them the information. But since you don't have my phone number... I can either write it down for you or, yeah, your phone works. Okay, so this is my cell phone that I'll be putting into your phone. Feel free to like just text me to say hey. Um, doesn't have to just be about my address. Hundred percent. Okay. Here you go. And, and good luck for whatever homework or studying you were doing. I promise. I'm going to be quiet now, but I'm so excited for this weekend. You're going to have so much fun. And for the record, I'm really glad that you said you'd be wearing green to a red light, green light party. I think you know what that means. <laughs> Guess you'll have to come to the party to find out. 